Today I wanted to talk about the importance of a great studio. There's something to be said about a space that is perfectly yours, your influences, your dislikes and, and likes, not your dislikes, why would you just put your dislikes into your studio? That desk you can come back to. It can truly influence your mind in so many different ways, the way it looks, the way it smells, the aesthetic and the colors. Uh, I have this dramatic light, I don't know why. Um, this is not, I think I'm gonna smooth a little bit. So the question is, do I use everything on my desk? Is it for looks? Well, the answer is yes and no. I've mentioned before all the inks that I have. Well, I use this pen for my letter writing and for many other tasks, such as drawing or journaling. I tend to pick things up like upside down, so I notice that keeps happening in a lot of my videos, it should be this way, so that it is legible. This is a calligraphy pen, not like a really fancy calligraphy pen, it's literally just like a wooden thing with an old nib, a broad, broad nib. I did have a really nice glass pen. Unfortunately, it broke. Besides all the books and papers and, uh, you know, little trinkets such as uh, pocket watches, I use all of this stuff. I like to come here and I like to sit sometimes and look at the, the fake vines that are on the walls and this wax, uh, that's tape, this waxed uh, map. Sometimes it's just a moment with you, your coffee, in your studio. The space you work in, the, the energy you have cultivated in whatever medium you're working in, there's magic in there and that there's endless possibilities and so much excitement. So the question becomes, where do you work? Um, this was this was a video kind of about nothing, uh, just mostly about the importance of a great studio. And with that, that is all for this video. Butcher, stop chewing on the curtain, Butcher.